Now we have Mike. Yay. Please. Can people hear us now? Oh yeah, there's the black screen on that on there when I was trying to fix the setting. So yeah, um us know people can hear the audio now. <sighs> May come through in just a second over there. Nothing like it, um updating how things work here. Oh. Oh, bubbles coming up the screen. Oh, yeah, there we go. Real quick. I'll turn off what I'm trying to look at. So, video no sound, opposed to sound no video. Yep, now we have sound. We have video and oh, sound. Wow. Funny. Okay, sorry for the lack of audio there, people. Didn't um. realize that changing things around it. Um, snuff the audio connection. Snuffed it, huh? Snuffed it. Oh, that sounds... So, would you like to do a, a redo of your... Oh, yeah, the whole ramble there to myself. Yes. Oh, you weren't doing it entirely to yourself, I right hear. <laughs> That's true. But I'm all by yourself. <laughs> so, uh. you can hear us now, right? From the picture that got posted was it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. People wanting to know the difference between a locker beef, which is a large geek wheel made out of all oh, steel. Those things steel, are cement flywheel. Things are massive. And so is the motor attachment for it, by the way. The motor's like fifty pounds by itself. The flywheel is what, 200 pounds worth of cement? cement? Yes. And another 60 pounds plus of steel frame. Pink wheels are heavy. Yeah, Motorized because pink they, are more so. Yeah, because you have to have a heavy motor. Because the motor has this big rubber thing right there on the end, which presses against the side of the flywheel, what which is what makes it go round. Yeah. And well, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. <laughs> so that's a good size. Yeah. Biggest difference between a kick wheel, or even a motorized kick wheel, and just a, this little guy right here, which all together weighs 70 pounds, by the way, okay. is the, you would never throw on a kick wheel barefoot. You could lose toes that way. Yes, the worst I've ever done is stub my toe, but lucky. Okay. And you need to make that low beaker for me. Yeah. Hopefully this one doesn't crack on the lid during the firing. Stick, damn you. <laughs> Because, yeah, when it comes to uh, kick wheels, you have the flywheel, and then you have the metal surrounds around the outside edge. If you're not careful and you're barefoot, you could, like, say, get a pinky toe caught in the gap and go rip, and then you only have nine toes. The worst I've ever done was stub my big toe. Yeah. That hurt. I've been doing it barefoot for quite some time. When one day I looked down, I noticed the little warning on the wheel that says never throw barefoot. That's going, hmm, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Which this one, you could easily because, well, I don't know, I do often. Because there's, nothing, there's no moving parts down there for you to catch your toes except in. Except for the pedal. Uh, and when you take your foot off the um, wheel with this, it stops. Just not something that a, fly, a flywheel driven wheel would do. Because it's got inertia. It'll it's, continue to spin for what, three, four minutes afterwards? Yeah. After you stop applying power? And, you know, Trying that's even lucky. Hello. 
this whole thing. It, it springs, so it springs up as soon as you take your foot off of it. Which this one doesn't. See, I can take my foot off. It'll just keep going. But if you release the power, it stops. Yeah, it's not like just turn off, you know. Are you in the mood to repli to do another Oinoche today? Oh. That's multi-piece. I know. It's good weather for it. Yeah, it is. A few days ago we were having... We had oh, 98 degree weather. It got 98 degrees in this room last week. Just a few earlier, days ago. Earlier yeah. this week. And yeah, that would not have been a good time to do anything large, multi-piece Greek because things Didn't dry far too fast. Because what we did is some of the porcelain and a couple of the pieces cracked because they dried too quickly. They dried too fast. And the porcelain is the fastest drying of all the clays as well. But we have our nice um, M4 over there, yes. which all that warm weather did help with, with drying. It still will be probably about a week before it goes in for its bisque firing. Yep. And it didn't do anything unpleasant on the bottom. I'm like, yeah. I should check that. Oh, yeah, Sarah. You should. <sighs> and now that we figured out how to fix the sound, if anyone has any questions, just let us know. And there. Mm -hmm. I did. We made two of these. They both cracked. They both had a flaw. In the lip. In the lip. Because it wasn't a throwing flaw no. that was well the clay does this clay does that it'll have little spalls. It's spalled but right on the lip I mean twice yeah well oh, no, no a second one, one. just twice. twice sure but both of them okay one was worse you. than the other but still okay that one also need to make one of those yes okay call oh, that one's kind of Remember how much clay we put into that one? Because we fancy. need to do. No, I'm trying to remember how much clay. I'm not saying I have. You mean your memory isn't perfect, Sarah? Okay. Splat. Do you want me to get the um, Oinoche in question so you can reference the shape of that one? I just have to bring it in from the other room. Yeah. Does Be that way I don't have to try to dr pull it up on screen because we still only have one screen visible. Uh, we, need we, need an, uh, we need a funky adapter. A VGA to display port adapter. We have a lot of old monitors, you see, and well, not wanting to buy a new monitor, we just took two of the, what we thought were the ones in better condition, and well that one would work fine if we had the right adapter, because Monitors last longer than computers do. So even when you have to get a new 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 box and all, the monitor is generally okay still. I don't know what the current cost of a Larker B is, but you buy that and you'll never have to buy another one ever. 
versus this where eventually the motor will wear down. Well, yeah, and the motor would, you could probably replace it. It's the good thing about a lot of, a lot of um, pottery equipment. Yeah. But, I'm not sure there really is a lot of price difference. Okay. In terms of space requirements, the electric wheels are far more space efficient. Yeah, and they'll fit into more areas. They're easier to move. <laughs> it's easier yeah. on your body. If you have a problem with your knee, if you had a knee injury, and well, you just can't use the because cake wheel anymore. Because even if you're anymore. not, even if you're not kicking at the cake wheel, it still puts stress on your knee. Yeah, because you're still going to manipulate the flywheel. Because that's what it's meant to be done: is to be moved with your feet. And also, you know, they're like this, so you're sitting. You're sitting a lot more splayed out. Yeah. So that you're, so cake wheels are more durable, but they're harder on the body. Yeah, they're for younger people. <laughs> <laughs> or people without any um, soft tissue injuries. <laughs> or people that are actually physically bigger. Bigger would also probably be easier too. Okay, that one has this oh, one. just another new bubble popped up on the screen. Well, I don't clean anymore. Hello. 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 So. I have put our surround on this one to make it look like a cake wheel before. That you have, and people thought it must be must be treadle driven because they could hear the hum. <laughs> oh, that's just the wrong water. That's brown. Oh, There we go. Look down and notice the mismatch. They ask me questions, and I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm sorry, I distracted you. Yeah, but Lockerbie's been around for a long time. Yeah. Let's see. Well, looks like you might be able to replace just the uh, um, yeah the motor component. I had to replace the switch on this one. Yeah, but yeah, the motor on this guy is about this big around. The motor on the locker B is that big around, more head sized, bigger than that. It's a big motor. Yes, it is. Well, it's men versus this, which is just spinning a. A flywheel. We've actually had to open it up and replace the belts on that one too. Oh well, yeah, poor thing. This yes. one is a little over about twelve years old. About twelve years old. And your locker B is over twenty. Yes. Recently found the original um, invoice for it, didn't we? Yeah. Just realized, hang on a second. Bucket in view. <sighs> I'm like, hey, wait uh, a second, I wonder if. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, because you can only see my hands when they're down there. Yep. I can still see them up in that in the corner there. Yeah. Yes, that way. Point right at the camera. Okay. So. That's how you clean off the belt. <laughs> so, I know, chair. Greek water uh, vessels. Yeah. Thrown in three pieces. The first one probably won't 60, 70? Yeah. And, I mean, the neck part needs more than what we did for that one because it didn't have enough clay for the proper um, lip. Yeah. And then you have to throw the base. Much yeah. like you would for Pelix. Yeah. But then they have it's got a very much Kylix look to it. Yeah. Because look at a lot of those oh, that's, that's a lot of the pictures of them. And it's kinda like it's a Kylix foot. Okay. 
There we go. That's 66 ounces. That should be enough for the body of that. So, making the picture jump too much? The whoop! Phone. phone. I turn it sideways so it doesn't fall over so much. Oh no, but it hides the reactions with net. You. I will use this device to hold that device in place. There. That can fall over, but it cannot fall off. There. It's all better now. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's making the picture jump too much. Oops. Where'd it go? I don't know. Can you bring back my feet? There we go. I have no idea why it's... <laughs> Get some bubbles. bubbles. I like seeing the bubbles. Okay. Ow. I keep resting my arm on that bruise. Sorry. That's so. Yeah, don't drop computers on your leg. Nasty bruise. But yeah, with this, you can probably hear the strain on the motor as she's throwing this larger piece. You don't. It doesn't put any strain on the lock of it. No. Control, or the, is it just different? It's different. Different between very the different. No, but I mean, oh yes, the, our, the commentary yesterday as you amazing. used the Lockerbie for the first time in 12 years. system, which is the reason why the, um, yeah, the video quality is much better. It's not jaggy. That's good. So yay, it fixed the issue. Now I just hmm. have to figure out how to use some of the new technologies. Yeah, that's okay. IT will help out. Yeah. I kind of did send in the parts that I couldn't figure out how to get to work together over to him, and it's like, you, you figure it out. I figured short out of screaming. He did figure out how to use OBS though. And help yeah, with that. how to optimize the settings within OBS. Yes. And at some point I'll figure out how to use the um, Elgato Stream Deck piece of software. Yeah. And uh, also remember the login passwords for some of the various accounts that you have to get all that you, through, yeah. through there. And just It's a thing. Hmm. I was hoping we wouldn't have to spend money on some new hardware. But. Yeah, different the ergonomics are in my workstation. Yeah, you're probably going to need about 30 to 40. Yeah. The 
thing is, is you learned on a kick wheel. Yeah. So you wouldn't exactly be able to say oh, which one would be easier to learn on. Most people say that the electric is easy because it's easier. It's one less thing. You don't end up at, um, while you're learning the process, trying to kick the wheel, keep the wheel, keep the wheel spinning, speed. and throw at the same time. That's what, the great thing about having the motorized kick wheel. Yes, because you can hear the tone of the motor change even in the video as she's adjusting the speed or adjusting the strain that she's putting on it, depending on whether she's centering or not. You can really hear the motor complain when you're doing the, oh, the amphora. The, the amphora. Yeah. Which, 120 some odd ounces of clay. Yeah, which is a lot. Yeah. It's not 10 pounds, but I do cut you off about a third of a bag. Yeah. About seven pounds then. Yeah. Now what I have to do is measure the opening here because this is the body. And what I'm going to do next is the neck. Yep. So. Okay. You. And now you go over there. Yeah, because you want that within yes. sight. You don't want me to take that away. Because then I might have to. Can do. Is hold this up into shot there. This is let's see, oh, or you could black background. There, that is the shape she's working on. Okay, right there. Yeah, and it's both halves. Be, both halves, yes. Okay. That sneeze was coming long before you slapped that clay together. <laughs> Timing. Yes, you and your cute little sneezes. Thanks. That one goes in here. So they go with more mugs. Yes, always more mugs. Always more mugs. Oh, oh, there's a comment. Love your streams. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. And if you have any questions just yet, type them in. So now that I have, we've got a uh, better uh, uh, computer set up out here now, I just need uh, why does it always, when it comes to the the monitors, comes down to one adapter? Yeah. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be as big a deal if we had modern screens, modern mo monitors. Not buying new monitors no. when those ones are perfectly These fine. These monitors still work just fine. It's just a matter of adapters. Monitors don't wear out that fast. No, they don't. I think we've had two flat panels die ever. Yeah. In a this one is no longer op operational way. Not this one has you know is hard to look at. Yeah. Or is developed a you streak of color across the screen. Well, we still have that one. Yeah, we do. But that's what I mean is we've only had two actually die. Uh -huh. And both of those it was a case of the backlight going out. And you need 
what is it? The fifteen-ish for the foot? Yeah, about that. That needs to go up a little more. make this sucker taller. <laughs> Beaming porcelain black. Okay, no, I don't have the other clay next to me. <laughs> I have there. I actually have a bag of each color over there. Every single variety. Maybe next stream we can do the, um, the swirls. The, the black and whites? The black and white swirl pieces. So those ones are always fun. Yeah. yeah. Let's just make it smaller, round, and taller. Smaller, round, and taller. <laughs> With the flared... Yes, I know. But first I have to make it taller and taller. A dollar. It's one of those times where it's handy that my hands are smaller. That's just the case. You are trying to make it a little neck. Yes. It's one. just a little knobby on the end. Okay. You want me to go get it? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's the point where my fingers aren't old enough. Art of making sure that all the oh wait is it this tool? <sighs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll I did take one. one of them down. Yes, and I will take this one back down there. I also found this and was wondering if this would be helpful. Well, let you know as soon as I finish this pass. Scuffing stick, but it's a cylindrical sponge. I brought it up just in case. Yeah, to make it so you don't mix smaller again. And, oh, Eleanor's watching. Hello, Hello Eleanor. We can put this tool back down where it's going to live from now on. 
doing the neck gather. This is the top half of the Greek wider jug. And it's at some point my fingers are not long enough. So I have to actually resort to using a tool. Oh yes, that's something that it might be Ooh, just in time to see the throwing of this the throwing stick. Yet her Yes, because she's been talking about making the long narrow necks. Is, is I can't feel how thick the site is when I'm using the stick. So. Yeah. I think that's the longest um, neck for one of these you've done to date. So I can and to adjust the shape shape down there because my hands are definitely not that long. <laughs> now that has got to take a steady hand. Patience. Patience. Practice. So you eat one false twitch and you're going to end up with the neck wrapped around the throwing stick. Yeah. Have you ever had that happen? Yes. <laughs> yes. This is going to go on to the half of right here. water jug. Yeah. It's a bigger it. water jug. <laughs> and it doesn't have holes in the bottom. No. We are going up and up. And now I'm starting to make the flaring out lip. Yeah. It's the uh, spout on a lot spouts on a lot of the Greek things with this like wide flaring lip. Then Not was practical. Pinched in. <laughs> yeah. It was very dramatic looking. Yeah. But those long handles are actually useful. I yeah, thought they were just more, oh, uh, look at what kind of handle I can make. These were silly. Yeah, it's, we were really worried when we were first attaching that first one. It was the, oh, good grief. How, what are we going to do to have to make it stay up? And, and it balances. Yeah. Which is really interesting, because with some of the the um, one with the two handles, uh, the big craters, or no, the oh goodness, yes, the cantheras. Cantheras. Those I had, I I took pictures of. I had cans of coconut milk holding the handles in place. Oh, I tried. Yeah, because those ones aren't cantilevered. No, and oh, had yeah. a couple of comments on that that thought it was. Quite funny. Because Glaucos yes. commented on that. He commented on the use of the coconut milk, as I recall. Yeah. They were heavy. They were heavy cans. They weren't going to tip or get away. And they latched together. Real Bring the, that one over here, sir, so I can see the top of it. Okay. Okay, that's right. And they go neat. There we go. It. So it's kind of like figure eight shape. Oh actually, Mom, check out the image the the screen there. Oh, you cool. can actually see it pretty darn well. You didn't quite go out of shot with the top thigh to that. Oh, yeah, huh. 
Well, that would have been a thing. Yeah. Let go of the bat pin. It's one of the newer bats. Yeah. You can tell it's got sharp edges still. Yeah. And do those. Well, I'll cut the bottom off of that one and attach it to the one I made previously. Come here, you. Yes. There's the main body of it. Next will be the foot. Yes, one, one more piece more. of that color. That's right, one more piece. Foot. Then we'll switch colors. Yes, if you're running low on water. Thank you. And this is why it's also just far more efficient to have two people when it comes to throwing. Yeah. If you notice, she's never, she's not getting up from what she's doing, but I'm constantly going around the room. Oh yeah, we have that hole that's going to have a pierced lip. Depending on which weather forecast, okay, we might help me. I was trying to decide whether or not to, when we're done for the day, close things up or not. Might be a good idea. I have them most the way closed up. Okay. Yes, I did that earlier. Actually, no, I hadn't because I was fighting the machine. But the uh, um. We are getting much closer to having the the large part of the shop set up and ready for people to come over and do take lessons. Lessons, do lessons. That's if anybody's interested in that. This is just the the base. So you're so uh, pushing your finger through so it's all the way to the bottom. Because you don't want it to be solid. No. Because solid can make things go boom. Boom bad. Boom very bad. Right now it's still distressing. Um for the first time we've got the uh, um the new large kiln full of um it's bisque firing. Yes. So it's always that Schrodinger's load, things are both fine and not fine until you open the lid. And you can't open the lid until it cools down far enough. Okay, there we go. Foot. Foot. Once, and somebody asked, well, how do you make those swirls on the bottom oh, of Oh, the ridges. The, or the ridges. How do you make the ridges on that? And I went like, like that? <laughs> Here, your fingers, oddly enough, fit into the grooves on the side. I think that may have been Helgi. Yeah, and it had to do with the uh, um, stem, stem of a goblet. Yeah. He is. <laughs> He's like, well, that was. That was well, you see, my, finco, my fingers Your are fingers much are smaller, so than much than smaller than his. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's only what six something. Yeah. Big fiber dude. What the? Doesn't have the long hair anymore. No. Okay, so we have. A um switch to the other now. <laughs> okay, so jewelry bowls. So it was the kind of hemispherical bowl with a with a lip that I can put piercings in for yeah. earrings. Yeah. Mm. 26. Sounds good. We'll do a couple of those. That's not enough clay. Nope. Several ounces too small. 
No, 20 out. Cl- 28. Close enough. Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I reach out to... That you're gonna s- just put it in my hand. You toss it at me. It's <laughs> it like, meh. And it, it like spring loading your arm. <laughs> That one goes. Round off the corners. Makes the centering easier. Whoosha, whoosha, whoosha. So you want to do more than one? Do you want to do two? Yeah, I did, did two or three. Okay. Because have... every year at Highland Games, we have at least one person ask if we have little jewelry bowls. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's because we have cats. The idea of having the open container for the jewelry just not does not appeal. Yeah. Sploosh, sploosh. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> With oh, no. the jewelry. <laughs> Oh, that would be that would be horrific. Yes, yes it would. <laughs> just the idea is smoosh, smoosh. <laughs> Especially if they're like earrings or something, you know, just loose at the bottom. Get fling flung all around. Getting them back out of a carpet. Especially deep carpet like what you have. Oh, good to know it. I love it when I'm barefoot. I walked in there with my, my boots on today and oh, my yeah. ankles were going <laughs> This ground is on. Ground. <laughs> the moment is. Well, come in. Stuck to the door. Well, why not? It's a glass it's sliding glass. door. The only thing is, like, I want a hook about. I could put a command hook, right? Well, why don't you? Then why don't you, then, Sarah? Right? Well, I have now. Yeah. Let's move the amphora over to the drying rack show. It should be from enough now. Yeah, he's he's. Do 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 spherical ball with a broad lip that isn't too thick. And I am just not thinking about setting it on that wire racking. Just, just no. Something about the oh, first one blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Only time we've had one blow up to you. Mm-hmm. It's very much the shape of the Italian bowls, isn't it? Yeah. That's what the lady who saw in this ooh, like that. Only with piercings in it. Okay. Do that. Ow. Ow. I need to not rest my arm on the purse. Just when the when yeah, one bruise, bruises. the bruise on my butt's all healed. Now I'm just going bruise the just above the knee. Yeah, just where you brace your arm when you're crouching. According to phrase, meh. There we go. Actually, not what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do an undercut on the bottom. Yes.
dry too much. So I'll put him down here. It's got to be firm enough to put the piercings in. And we'll get a little. Yeah. This tiger and Andrew. Mm -hmm. Another jewelry bowl. This stuff's gotten a little firm. Mm -hmm. Well, this bag was open. In a in a hot room. Mm -hmm. For days. I think that's the only one that's firmed up like that, though. Oh, that's also sold it for you. Mm -hmm. My apologies for putting it firm up like that. It's all your fault, I, Sarah. You control the weather. I didn't think about, you know, making sure all the bags of clay were all thoroughly sealed up. You know, if it were really clever, what we would have done before you started throwing was clear the gradoo out of the wheelhead, because I bet you it had dried. No, it wasn't dry enough. Oh, okay. I already tried. I was clever enough. Ah. To think I was too focused on dealing with this silly computer. We got most of the random software on its setup yesterday. That's an interesting thing to the lift right now. Isn't it though? Yeah. Okay. In addition to this, we have two more of those solo cups to make. <laughs> yeah. So I could get you the pieces cut off for those. We also have So I can show you the shit, the the edge shape of the plate. Oh yeah. That because works. we were presented with a fragment of plate. That's always sad. Yeah. Well, the rest of it is apparently becoming part of a rather nice mosaic. And why not? Making them so they won't. Tip easily. An anti-tipping jewelry bowl? You mean catapulting jewelry is a bad thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, reference back to the fact that we have cats. And not all cats are graceful creatures. And not all gra graceful cats always make dexterity checks. Like the uh, um, platter that she had, that you're painting on right now, that has claw marks in it. Yeah. Okay, so solo cup. Which it is. Are they solo if they're a pair? Sorry.
suppose one thing that, yeah, the electric wheel has definitely in its favor is the rate of change of speed that you can do. Yeah. Doesn't so much have to do with the laws of physics. <laughs> it doesn't have the inertia. Things like to keep doing what they're yeah, already doing. doing, yes. Some people, 49% might sound like a high humidity if you live in a desert. Or in too far inland. Or too far inland, yeah. But we have been having to adapt some of the things we do because we move. We're not living on the we're coast not, anymore. We're not within five miles of the Pacific Ocean. World's largest heat sink. Last or not. Also, we won't have things you look at it go rest anymore either, so. Yeah, our kiln will be so much happier. But as a result, it's learning how 10% humidity change, 10 to 20% lower humidity, affects how things dry, how they, um. Also, their time. Warmer their work air. Time. Yeah, warmer air. Oh. It's only 71 in here today. It doesn't feel that warm. No, it doesn't. So we do not, we have not had direct sun at all today. Yeah. And it doesn't feel that warm considering how warm it was the last couple of days. Yes. And this should probably be the last one. Okay. Maybe add some water to that one. Yeah. Because it's a wee bit stiff. There we go. Water added. And the next time we come out, I'm also going to want to bring out another pitcher of water. Yeah. I think that's the only thing this room is missing is a water source. Yeah. Something the other half of the shop has. I know, it's kind of nice. Well, and technically there's that faucet right there. I could go fill it right now. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> suppose making that shape's good to all practice doing all just straight up cylinder shapes. Yeah, I think so. Not concave, out. not convex. Just real kind of flare out a yeah. little bit towards flat side. flare. few hours time I will come out and um, tent things, drape plastic over them so that they don't dry out past their workable stage for the ones that need mm -hmm. more work. Uh, that should be it for today. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. bye, -bye.